Good evening and welcome to episode 25 of the free video game collection. So this is a bit of a strange one uh, video really because I've decided to uh, stop uh, adding stuff to the collection at this moment in time. I've had one big blowout so I've spent £23 on this uh, DVD bundle. It's a bit of a horror bundle. And that was on eBay. So the plan is now to uh, keep some of this and recuperate the money back into the uh, fund. So we are about £43 in the red at this moment in time. However, all these DVDs, if you add them all up, sell roughly for about £100 in CX. And there is a few few uh, big DVDs in here which I'll get to in a moment so that's the plan uh, with those at the minute and and that's how I'm going to recuperate uh, as to get back to zero so I'm going to sell these on eBay individually but I'll get to those shortly voucher wise I think I had about 18 pound 20 pence left so I've spent all the voucher var 20 p, p so obviously you can't buy anything for cx for 20p but yeah so voucher wise we're plus 20p and cash wise we're about minus 44 pound which i'm going to get back uh currently filming in a hotel room which is not great so i'm in the process of moving from one work location to another work location uh currently not got a property available for me until next week so i'm currently living in a hotel for now so uh the games room is coming along nicely i reckon i'm about another couple of weeks away from from doing a games room video but it's work in progress as i've been sorting it out i've got loads and loads of duplicate games uh consoles and stuff like that. i think last count out of four wii consoles two of them being boxed so once I'm back to zero in a couple of weeks time, I'll do the uh, games room video and then we'll just basically start again uh, because it's just getting a bit out of hand trying to keep on track of it, living in different locations, the game room not fully set up. I don't, I go into charity shops, I don't know what I've got, I go into CX, I don't know what I've got, everything's boxed up. So until it's all out and it's on display, all I'm going to concentrate on is selling these. However, there's some really good films in there and uh, I want to try and watch them all before uh, I start moving them on. So it's going to be a slow process, but I've got a couple of weeks. So why did I buy this bundle then? Uh, obviously, horror uh, DVDs uh, keep their value quite a lot. A lot of collectors out there and stuff like that. However, that's not the reason why I bought it. So... Uh, I'm a massive Nicolas Cage uh, fan, so I'm pretty much on the hunt for all his films. So there's one that's been eluding me for quite a while, and it was in this bundle. Now, the cheapest one I could find on eBay was uh, £20, just on its own. However, for an extra £3, I'm getting all these, and I'm getting the DVD. So that's the one I was after. It's called Vampire's Kiss. Uh, never actually seen this. Uh, it is actually on on uh, Amazon Prime at the moment, uh, and normally that's the queue for uh, items to drop in value if it's on a streaming site. However, this one's kept its value. So this currently, CX is selling it for twelve pound. However, they've got none in stock. They do trade in for roughly about six pound, I believe, off the top of my head. So yeah, however, I will be keeping this. I'm not selling this. This is going into the collection and you'll see my full Nicolas Cage uh, video, DVD, uh, Blu-ray collection once I do the game room tour. So yeah, that's the reason why I bought that bundle. So yeah, that's going in the free video game collection slash media room at this moment in time. Uh, the next I'll just pick out a few, so this one's called The Burning, so that's a £6 uh, DVD, uh, so yeah, once I've watched that I'll stick that on eBay for £6, uh, 
the child's play anyone remember that chucky so that's another decent one that's a four pound film so yeah again i'll stick that on there uh so this one uh the wrong turn free movie pack so that's a, a five pound uh dvd there all nice and complete Okay, the reanimator never seen this so i'll watch this i've seen a couple of the wrong turn ones so the ream and a mater get my words out that's another six pound dvd so that's going on ebay once i've watched it the next one is a stephen king film this is called thinner so this is a 15 pound dvd so again uh i will uh stick that on ebay so now you can kind of see where i'm getting all my money back just looking at those few by the bottom one i'm pretty much getting me 40 pound back and then everything else is pretty much where we're at profit wise so uh this one is a one uh maniac so i did have a look at this uh i've that stickers on the in on actually been put on the on the uh sleeve and then they've got these ones on the back, but it doesn't really matter. That's, again, an £8 film. So, yeah, this one's a nice one. So, the box is a little bit tatty. But, again, it's a £15 uh, film. Uh, CX will give me £7. It's all nice and complete. It's got a little booklet inside. So, yeah, it yeah you can see where it's all coming from so this one is probably the one that's the most disappointing out of all the films so uh yeah tell us on the dark side uh this is a four or five pound film this one was the only one that was scratched out of all of them so i was slightly uh disappointed you can see there so i'm probably going to watch it if i do stick it on ebay i will advertise that it's scratched but it's still playable but yeah you can see, yeah, really disappointed in that. But out of all of them, for that one to be the only one that had any kind of mark on it, it's not too bad. Uh, and then the rest are pretty much like anywhere between £1.50 all the way up to uh, four or five quid. So, yeah, got a couple of ones I've never heard of. Fade to Black, uh, The Eels Have Eyes, Night of, Night of the Living Dead. So that's in that. Uh, little uh, like one of the others so that's a, definitely going to get sold it's pretty much one of the first ones that are going to get sold I think that is uh, about two or three quid yeah and then you got some more Stephen King ones uh, I think you pronounce it Salem's Lot and then you've got no uh, I'm not quite sure how that one's Nos for Tati or something like that. Anyway, yeah, a lot of these I've never heard of. So All Hallows Eve, the complete collection. You've got another Stephen King one there, The Stand. So I remember watching that as a kid. So that's really good. And I might actually keep that uh, after I've watched it. But we'll see how we go. And then you've got like some staples, Freddy vs. Jason, Evil Dead, The Jaws. Then you've got like a Jaws trilogy underneath, two, three, and Jaws Revenge. The discs are really good, but there's a few tatty corners there. And then you've got a couple of uh, newer ones there. Okay, then you've got the Resident Evil collection. So I think that's like a, a four films in one. Yeah, four films in one. You've got uh, the original uh, and then three like ones after. Uh, and then you've got a John Carpenter film, I believe. Yep. The Thing, and then you've got Hellraiser. So yeah, definitely going to be watching watching a few of those. Okay, so yeah, that's those. Uh, really looking forward to watching them and seeing how much we can get. Now, I'm absolutely guaranteed that we're going to get at least the initial 44, uh, the outstanding amount, sorry, £44 back off these. And obviously, we're going to keep a, a couple of them. Worst case scenario just the one but yeah we'll get get through these okay what did i buy from cx with all the voucher so i went in there i went 
and uh, just basically took my time. I wanted to get at least one cartridge-based game with that £18.20, but there was no joy. So it was just a case of, again, games that I want to would play, ones that are not necessarily fodder, and also double-check the Wii U uh, section to see if I could find another Wii U game to tick off the collection. So what did I get then? So this one was uh, one of the most expensive ones, so this was £5. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on uh, the 3DS. So that was the first one. Now there's a reason why I bought this. So my boy, he's got a art picture poster whatever you want to call it of that exact same image on the front of this game uh so that is going to be put up in the games room so i just thought that would proper cheer him up if you saw that uh then i got rapids uh i think that's how you say it yep 3d game on the 3ds also and then i got some wii games these were a pound each uh i would add four pound uh, sorry, I'll talk about the the Wii U game first. So yeah, another uh, Wii U game, really nice condition. Uh, it's missing the booklet, but because the condition of the, of the game and that was so good, uh, I thought, yep, yeah, I'll I'll get it. And uh, the disc is really really clean, so I'll get it. And that's another one. There was another one there, bayonet, just uh, normal bay bayonet, the first one, but the case was trashed and, and everything. And I just didn't want to want to get that one so yeah that's where it was so that comes to a 14 pound for those few games and then I had four pound left so i was just going through the wii u games i thought if i can get at least three and in the end i got four so yeah these are all really nice condition uh complete with the manuals and everything so this one i do like a lego game uh I've got quite a few Lego games. I think I've got them all now on the Wii U. But yeah, if I see a Lego game that's reasonable, I'll pick this up. But this one looked quite good. So yeah, uh, that was one for the one for the uh, collection. Uh, and then I'll pick this one up. This is called uh, Raymond's Raving Rabbids. And this is the TV party. So uh, I had a quick look because I do take a picture of all my games. The well, the Wii games and the Wii U games anyway and this one was I was missing from the from the uh, rabid collection on the Wii so yeah that was good uh, this one looked quite interesting this is called the blob uh, again another one pound game really really uh, looks quite interesting probably not one that I'd probably sit down and play for hours but at least my son would probably play with that one and then this one so uh, this is a bit like a guitar hero game but you don't actually need a guitar so you can use your like it says in there use your wii remote and nunchuck to play all instruments and there's some decent songs on there on the set list you've got like ace of spades uh and stuff like that. teenage dirt bag uh all the small things some decent yeah some decent ones that it's advertising plus there's a few more i think it was 30 legendary rock tracks so yeah, looks look quite decent. Uh, yeah, so I'll clean all those up. I'll get them on on the shelf, and and then yeah, we we're, we're still adding stuff to the collection. Uh, obviously, I I didn't really want to spend all the voucher, but I'm getting really really annoyed with with CX at the moment because it it kind of seems like they don't want you to trade stuff in. For, for voucher or it doesn't seem worth it i mean if you look at that vampire's kiss game uh probably that's not a, uh, a very good example but well it is because they're only giving you six pound voucher and i think they give you three pound cash but then it's like a 20 pound dvd i know they're selling it for 12 but you, the, if it's out of stock then you have to go ebay route and it's 20 pounds so yeah it doesn't really make sense i mean they're giving you for that child's play i think they give you like 60 pence cash for that uh and and, and so on and so on like that thinner that's another big hitter film uh they're giving you three pound cash for that but they're selling it at, selling it for 15 uh 
so yeah, I'm just going to just stick to eBay for now. I know you've got to pay fees and, and everything like that, but it just seems the best way to go at this moment in time. So yeah, we'll swear everything away. I want to swear away the, the games room and then basically if for whatever reason I don't make the uh, £44 back off this or I decide to keep more then I think and then with the duplicates and, and stuff in the games room I'll, I'll get the money back and then basically once we've squared everything away we'll just start again but yeah that's where we're at at the moment so thanks for watching hope I didn't go on too much have a good evening Catch you later. Bye-bye.